Hello everyone, how are you? I am Rama, your math teacher. Today we're gonna take about sides and angles. Sides and angles. What is sides and what is angle? We will learn today. And not only this, we will learn new word. As you can see here, I will teach you how to pronounce it and how to understand the meaning of it. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. For now, let's start talking about what is sides and what is angles. I will draw a square as you can see now I will show you what is the side and what is the angle on this square at first as you know the square shape is exactly like this what is the side how many lines did I use to make this square Let's count together, one, two, three, and four. So, how many sides the square has? One, two, three, four. So, this is the side. Can you see? This is a side. Let's just do it again and notice exactly what is a, a side. This is one side, two, three and four so we can count them like this one two three four so the square has four sides what about the angle what about the angle the angle is something a little different Every two lines, when they interact with each other, they make angle. What does that mean? This is a line and this is a line. Do you see this area here between the two lines? This is the angle. So here, how many angles we have? We have here, we have here, we have here and we have here. So, how many angles we have? One, two, three, and four. And how many sides we have? One, two, three, and four. So, for the square, we have four sides and four angles. Can you see? Let's try a different shape. What about drawing a triangle? Let's start counting the sides and the angles. This is side one, side two, side three. So, we have three sides. What about the angles? Here we have one, two, and three. So, we have three angles. Did you notice something? Did you notice that the number of sides and the number of angles are always the same? In the square we had 
look just have a look we have four sides and four angles can you see and here also we have three sides and three angles now I want to draw three different shapes and I want you to notice something It wasn't good. Yeah, and the last shape. Okay. Now we have these three different shapes. This is rectangle. This is square. And this is trapezoid. Shall I write the names? Rectangle, square, and trapezoid. Okay, that's cool. Let's find the sides and the angles for these three shapes. Let's pick the red color. Let's start with the sides. One, two, three, and four. So four sides for the rectangle. How about the square? One, two, three, four four sides for the square how about trapezoid let's count one two three four four sides for the trapezoid that's cool let's see the angles one two three four we have four angles for the rectangle. One, two, three, four. Also, I have four angles for the square. What about the trapezoid? Let's see together. One, two, three, four. Also for the trapezoid, I have four angles. How this is happening? These are three different shapes, but they have the same information. We have four sides for each shape and four angles for each shape. So what should we call them all together? Because they have the same information, the same features the same look what can we call them we call them quadrilateral quadrilateral which is this word quadrilateral let's write it together so you will remember it quadri you will remember it as this like pronounce it as two parts it will be much easier so the first part will be quadri the second part will be lateral so quadrilateral means just let me write it again small size it's very huge quadri lateral Quadrilateral means when any shape has four sides and four angles, that means this shape is quadrilateral. 
Any shape that has four sides and four angles is quadrilateral. So in that case, is the triangle a quadrilateral shape? Is the triangle a quadrilateral shape? No, that's good because it has three sides. What about what about the pentagon? What about okay I drew it very badly. Let me try again. What about the pentagon? Let's count together how many sides and how many angles and let's learn if it's a quadrilateral shape or not. One, two, three, four, five. So the pentagon has five sides. Let's see how many angles. One, two, three, four, five. So we have also five angles for the pentagon. Now, is the pentagon a quadrilateral shape? No. It's not a quadrilateral shape. The quadrilateral shape sh should have four sides and four angles. I'm really happy to share this lesson with you. Thanks for watching.